on Tech It Out, we keep bringing you stories about the potential and dangers of artificial intelligence. While AI can be helpful in many ways, it can also be used to fool people and carry out scams. Our next story gets you more details. Artificial intelligence has taken the world by storm. It can do a lot of things. The AI-powered chatbots can write essays, decode complex topics, compute taxes, compose songs and master creative processes. They can even perform tasks commonly associated with human cognitive functions. Basically, the potential of AI is limitless. Now, artificial intelligence is the key to an interesting breakthrough. It's allowing a paralyzed man to walk again. His name is Gertjan Oskam. Now the question is, how is AI making this possible? With the help of a new device that connects his brain and his spinal cord, bypassing the injury he suffered 12 years ago, there's a brain-computer interface that is aiding the process. In other words, there's a digital bridge between the brain and the region of the spinal cord that is still intact and can control leg movement. We do two different surgeries. There is one surgery at the level of the brain. We do two little craniotomy, put electrodes in order to record the brain signal. And another surgery at the level of the spinal cord where we put electrodes on the top of the spinal cord at the place that is responsible for leg movement. So between these two, there is communication, an electrical communication, a digital bridge that is then reactivated the legs. When Oscam thinks about walking, electrodes on his brain relay the message to electrodes on his spinal cord and stimulate the spine. This signal is wirelessly transmitted and decoded by a computer that Oscam wears in a backpack. Rapidly, Gertian could have a volitional control over the movement of his paralyzed muscles to perform movement. But of course, it took a lot of training to regain you know, full weight bearing standing, walking for extensive duration. And what we observed along the duration of this training is a digital repair of the spinal cord. Not only he could leverage this digital bridge in order to control his paralyzed muscle, but also show a recovery of neurological function he had lost for many years. Suggesting that this digital bridge also promote the growth of new nerve connections. Within five to ten minutes, I could control my uh, uh, hips, like they were like the brain uh, implant uh, picked up what I was doing with my hips. So that was uh, like uh, the best outcome I think for everyone. Artificial intelligence is transforming healthcare and revolutionizing medical technology, but unfortunately, it's being used by scammers to carry out fraud. Recently, a con man in China used artificial intelligence technology and posed as a friend of a businessman online. The scammer used an AI-powered face-swapping technology. The voice was cloned, facial data was manipulated. The fraudster successfully impersonated the victim's close friend during a video call and persuaded the victim to transfer money worth thousands of dollars. The swindler defrauded the businessman of around $620,000. This incident has raised concern about the potential of artificial intelligence techniques to aid financial crime. It has left authorities and the public on high alert. Our advice is be vigilant and exercise caution when you interact with anyone digitally.